Hey guys, welcome back to my next video. So in this video, it's going to be kind of like a storytelling um, video because I really want to talk about the dangers of film. And I think a lot of people really don't take the time to really put this aspect into per perspective. And that is to let you know that film is very expensive financially. And I really learned the downside of this because, you know, I just completed a, um, a feature film that dealt with archival material. I was the post-production assistant for that film project and I really saw the darkness of what film has to offer. <laughs> So let's rewind. So archival material. If you're doing anything with archival, archival material, you better have some big money. You better have some deep pockets because archival material is deadly expensive. So what it's about is that, let's say you want some archival footage. Maybe it may be a picture or maybe a little snippet. Each second of archival material that you want, let's say if it's a video, each second is like literally $55 a second. And what a lot of these smaller film companies or these newscast companies, they make you have a certain minimum requirement in order for you to submit an order with them. So this, this story really eats me and it's really painful painful for me to talk about but I think it's very important and it really speaks to the fact that I think that a lot of people who want to go into film need to get experience first get experience on other film sets and kind of make mistakes early in the process and know this kind of sounds like mean but you have to make mistakes in order to learn and be successful that's that's been said throughout the dawn of time but anyway, in this particular case, um, I had put in an order for about 40 clips worth of archival material. And I think it's for a total of, I think it was for a total of like over a hundred seconds. And now mind you, I just said like each second can cost like $55 minimum, minimum. So what I had done is that I had put in the order and the order was right. The order was right. Didn't make no mistakes. Now, what this film company did was say, hey, we got your order, thank you, but we can't give you the rights to the, these video clips because they're owned by another company. So we were like, okay, no problem. We're thinking that they're going to take those clips out because we had a large order, but oh no, honey, they kept those clips in. They kept the clips in our order and they charged them. They, tar they charged us for them. And we're talking over 15K worth of material they charge us for. And it was because of, and the main reason was, of course, other than the fact that they couldn't license them, is that I did not keep a proper paper trail. So what do I mean by that? I think my, my <laughs> clarification of that is, if you send in an order via email and that company says, hey, we can't license certain parts of that order, you need to resend that order back in without those clips that they said that they could not license because they will charge you for them. And even though they said that they could not give you the rights for those clips and they charge you for them, they do that because they think that, okay, maybe you know what you're doing and that you'll actually take the clips that you purchased and go and actually find the original owner of those clips and purchase the rights from them. That's their thought behind it. So your paper trail is very, very important. And another thing that I found to be very important is that it's so vital to be organized and finish one thing at a time. One thing at a time. And it's it was because we were in the process of finishing one big aspect of the project. We had to stop everything to go and focus on 
another aspect of the project. And because we got so warped in that other aspect of the project, we completely forgot where we left off on at the beginning of the previous one. So one thing at a time, because if not, if not, you, you can cost the EP a lot of money Could, because that 15K or more still, 15K or more film loss still eats me until this day. So please be careful. I mean, that's the film mob for you. Oh yes, honey. Film is no joke. Never think that somebody is going to have the integrity to do the right thing because at the end of the day it's business and people got to eat and business needs to make money and if that means capitalizing off of um unknowledgeable or Im immature mistakes so be it they don't care they're a business so paper trails mean everything never think you can trust someone to do the right thing so watch your back if somebody says that, hey, I can't license them, license certain things, resend the order back in without those clips that they say that they couldn't license because that can cost you. Oh yeah, it can cost you. So that was my experience with archival material. And after that experience, I'm like, I don't know if I could ever deal with archival material if I ever want to do archival material, because that's a lot of money. We're talking about over 15,000. Like, how do you come back from that? I mean, you can, but it's gonna take a long time though. I mean, yeah, but anyway, you, you don't want to go into film feeling cocky because reality will hit and you don't wanna be on the side where you get hit so bad you won't be able to recover because there is a film mob and it and it ain't pretty when it wants to collect it's going to collect so be careful stay organized finish one thing at a time do not move on to another step until you finish the one before it'll save you a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of disappointment so that is my story for you in archival material and the fact that there is a film, a film mob out there. So take those lessons from there and I'll see you in the next video, honey. All right. Bye.